motor tourism is set to go on overdrive as a new tourism product in the country. Tourism Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Ng Yen Yen says, come December, a task force is scheduled to meet to chart out a roadmap to develop the sector. She says key industry players, including Malaysian Automotive Association, will be roped in to study ways to fuel the sector. Where do we have that capacity? Let us know our position first. We know our own position first. Yeah, no, no. Must know where is our strength. Our strength is one all the highways. Our strength is our fuel is so competitive. Okay? Our strength is I don't think there's a shortage of cars. That's our strength. Our strength is by the halfway half we have all the halfway home stops. No worry. That's our strength. But what's our weakness? Our weakness is no one is want to do that yet. Now we cannot, the ministry cannot come and put that into cell. So we need to look at the, the, the weakness. So how to help them? So how to help them means the technical part must come from MMA and then identify and then I will take some mega fans down. Like, we can do this. They are like going to car. What about the bike? You know, go about the bike. Five days, six nights. No. Five nights, six days in Malaysia. How much it cost you? Not much. Okay, but at the end, but for me, I must be very, very conscious of safety. She said this after launching the Kuala Lumpur International Motor Show 2010's advertising and promotion campaign in Kuala Lumpur on Thursday. Earlier in her speech, the minister says motor tourism has the potential to become a high-yield tourism product and the KLIMS 10 can be used to promote the sector. KLIMS 10 will be held from December 3rd to 12th at the Putra World Trade Centre. It is expected to lure about 330,000 visitors and tourists. Highlights of the event include a 16-foot high replica of the Bumblebee character from the Hollywood movie Transformers and the Batmobile as well as the latest model of eco-friendly and hybrid vehicles.